I'm Eric Benson with Clemson University, Extension Entomologist, and we're out here in the Midlands of South Carolina looking at the 13-year periodical cicada. You might be able to hear them in the background, and it's kind of a special event that occurs, again, only once every 13 years. The life cycle of the cicada begins in the trees, but I'm going to finish with the trees and start down here in the ground where the cicadas have been spending the last 13 years of their life. So 13 years ago, in 1998, baby cicadas fell down from the trees that surround the area that we're at right now. They burrowed into the ground and they found a root on the different trees where they latched on and basically drank the juice, the sap, the, the xylem and phloem that goes up through the tree every day. They don't hurt the tree, but they, they latch on and they, they live there for 13 years, slowly developing. Then they start to work their way up near the surface on the 13th year of their life. And that's what we've been doing right now. Uh, we've been using this very simple device here, but measuring about how deep the final emergence holes. And I'm finding them to be about three and a half, four inches on average. But they were down in these holes, and then probably about two, two and a half weeks ago, they came up, usually at nighttime when they're protected by darkness. They crawled the short distance over to the trees, and then they shed their final skin. If you look at the trees closely, you can see these shed skins all up and down the trunks. Although they don't only have to be on trunks, they can be on cars, they can be on the sides of houses, they can be on above ground swimming pools, they can be just about any vertical surface. If you were lucky enough to see the final process, the, the insect, the 13 year cicadas, start to split right down their backside and the future adult pulls out slowly, uh, taking about two to three hours to shed their old skin, sprout their wings by pushing their blood into their wings and then getting hard. After they've hardened up and they get this dark body and these bright red eyes, the cicadas either walk up or fly up to the treetops. Interestingly, we have one cicada that started to emerge but never made it all the way. Uh, he has the, the black body, the orange vein wings, and the red eyes, but for whatever reason, he didn't make it. And we're finding in our research about 15% of all the cicadas that come out of the ground don't actually make it to be adults, but millions and millions and millions do. What happens in the final part of the process is the cicadas go up into the treetops, usually hard, deciduous trees like oak trees, um, tulip poplar, maple trees, but even pine trees here in South Carolina. And then the males start to sing their love song. It's the males that you're hearing chorusing in the background right now. And as they're calling, they're bringing in females, and then they'll go through a mating ritual, mating response, where they mate. The female, after the eggs are fertilized then, probably a week or two later, will take a very sharp spear, we call it an ovipositor, and she'll push her eggs down into the twigs of the branches of the tree. It can do some damage to the tree, but it's usually slight and not very significant. Then, after the mating party is over, if you will, uh, the cicadas will die. All the adult cicadas will die, and they'll fall to the forest floor, they'll fall wherever they are, and actually become pretty good resources for um, nature. When the eggs are finished developing in about a two-month period, the tiny, tiny little baby cicadas will fall from the tree, usually go completely unnoticed by people, fall to the tree, They'll burrow into the ground where they can, dig, keep digging down into the ground to find another uh, root where they can latch on and wait another 13 years. The amazing thing about cicadas, well, there's several things. One is they're long-lived. There are not many insects that live 13 years. There are some, but not many. Also, how synchronized they are. These cicadas all go in the ground and they stay in the ground for 13 years and emerge almost all on the same day. They're so tuned into nature and the tree and each other, they basically know when to come out 
and then overwhelm the, the system, if you will, by sheer numbers. So many will die, many will be eaten by birds and lizards and attacked by other insects, but there are so many, they're successful. Just a minute ago, I was out and I caught a male who is not very happy with me. And I don't know if you can hear him singing. But this is a male cicada who uh, is just taken out of the party and is now up into the tree. Also, I caught a female cicada. Uh, again, they're hard to tell apart. The females are slightly larger. Underneath, she has that spear-like ovipositor for laying the eggs. She can't sing, but she certainly can hear the, the love song of the adults. And she, too, is probably enjoying the, the mating party. So the periodical cicadas in South Carolina are known as Brood 19, or the Great Southern Brood. There are other broods of periodical cicadas. Up north in the United States, they tend to be the 17-year periodical cicadas. In the southeastern United States, they tend to be the 13-year periodical cicadas. Again, there are many broods, um, but this is the largest brood, which stretches all the way from southern Virginia down through the Carolinas, over to Louisiana, and then actually up into the Midwest a little bit. So a huge population with billions and billions of bugs coming out every 13 years. The periodical cicadas are often confused with the annual cicadas. There are many species of cicadas. And cicadas come out every single year in South Carolina. And we hear them every single summer. Those are the annual cicadas. The periodical cicadas are special, again, because they only come out once every 13 years. The annual cicadas are, are larger. They're sort of green-bodied and have dark eyes. It's easy to tell a periodical cicada in South Carolina. They have the black body, the orange-striped or veined wings, but the bright red eyes is the sheer giveaway for identifying periodical cicadas. But you probably don't even need a cicada. All you have to do is listen, and you'll know if they're there.